This is Mark Bell from Super Training Gym. Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West, here today with Zach Bitter. We're going to do a little bit of sled dragging, and I want to kind of see where Zach's conditioning is in this particular movement. I don't think you've done this movement much. I don't think so, no. So all we're going to be doing is walking. We're just going to be walking with the sled forward and backwards. I have a more appropriate weight for him on there than I do for myself, but it still might not match up properly considering I weigh almost 100 pounds more than he does. <laughs> Anyway, all we're gonna do is we're just gonna walk backwards with the sled first. So you take this belt and you just step into it like you're throwing on your undies for the morning. If you wear undies. And then all we're gonna do is walk backwards. Now here's a key thing that a lot of people are doing that I'm noticing when they're doing this exercise is they're just kind of lounging back and kind of going like this. And they're doing the kind of weekend at Bernie's thing, you know, <laughs> shoulders flying around. Use your, use your quads. I like to kind of push off my toes and almost, not completely stay off the heel, but really drive and really flex every time. Really get the most out of it. As always, make sure you're breathing. In fact, this could be a great opportunity in some of these training sessions that you do in the gym for you to work on nasal breathing. Yeah. Especially because your capacity is so high. I would assume that a lot of the lifting that you do, you could probably work through a, a good amount of it with just nasal breathing. So what we'll do now, now that we got Zach's legs pumped a bit, we're gonna to try to speed it up a little bit. So we're gonna go a little faster, keep reaching back. Reach back. Don't run, don't run. Reaching back. Reach back to the leg. Reach back and flex, reach back. These sled exercises have been huge for me. Um, some of you that have been following along, you notice I'm getting leaner. A ton of it has to do with what I'm doing in the kitchen. A lot of it also has to do with me just moving around a little bit more, a little bit of running, getting in 20,000 steps a day. There's a lot of factors, but this right here, I gotta say is a big factor. There's a lot of movement. I'm doing the sled work almost every day, forwards and backwards, big contributing factor. When you're doing this, if you think about it, almost like a leg extension each time, get a good flex. There are times where you may want to put a little more weight on there for these particular movements, but for today, we're going a little bit more for distance than we are for just pure strength. Especially because my knees are still recovering a little bit and being banged up. Another thing you can do, I'll show you some of the tib work. Another thing you can do here is we can intentionally go on the heels and we can flex the foot up each time. Do this for even one lap, and you'll find your legs shaking and baking right underneath you. Just eat, raise the toes up each time. You could even do it barefoot, and you could flange your toes out more. All right, now we're gonna go forward. Basically, it's about five minutes forward, five minutes backwards. It's about what we're doing. This feels harder. Yeah, this gets tough. Especially because you don't realize how much you're working some of those back, back of the leg muscles uh -huh. when you're walking backwards. Oh, so you got some. But you start to, yeah, you got a little pre fatigue going. Is there some things that while I'm walking with this I could think about in terms of my running? Like you were mentioning forward theme. Yeah. Is there things that you think could apply while I'm walking with the sled? Kind of two toes with one stone, maybe push off with the toes or something like that? Or Yeah, I think that and just the relative positioning you're going to put yourself in. This is like, like you're, I, I'm, I the think. The modest weight. It's, yeah. We're not too far forward. It's like you find the efficient 
efficient position when you're pulling the weight because you kind of have to. Right. And then if you think, uh, I would actually think this would actually be a pretty good running form movement because of that here. At least, especially if you're struggling to hold form. If it's like the weight's too heavy, you might lean forward too much. Yeah, but I wonder if like the exaggeration might be fine because without the weight, you're just not going to because you, 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 you know understand. you can't tip over. <laughs> Maybe even knee drive too. It's oh, kind of yeah. hard to shuffle through this one. Yeah, I would think like if your form is good, the knee drive felt good actually. But uh, you're breaking down early in the run, so your form is falling apart as the run goes on. This would maybe help with uh, being able to hold that form mm. longer.